This gaming PC can play the latest and greatest titles, and we only paid $300 for it. Let me show you guys how I built it. This is an H81MK from Asus. It's a simple M80X motherboard that will do the job just fine. We're gonna pair it with an i7-4790S processor and 16 gigs of RAM. Now every once in a while you might get really lucky and score some incredible deals, which is great, but today I wanna show you guys the type of PC that anyone can build right now regardless of their luck or location. Anyhow, the cooler that I went with is Deepcool AG200, a basic tower cooler that is more than fine for our CPU. As for the case, I'm gonna use the good old WJ Coolman DT M2, which is an M80X case with good airflow and a premium look. I'm gonna add 6 of these red LED fans for the airflow. In terms of storage, we're gonna go with this 480x8 SSD from Team Group. Now, if we had a bit more budget, I would have gone for a terabyte instead, but $300 isn't much to work with, so half a terabyte will have to do for now. We'll be powering the system with Deepcool DN500. It's a great mid-range power supply that goes well with budget systems like this. And of course, the GPU. GTX 1070. It's a budget, but at the same time, a quite capable and a suiting graphics card for our system. Let's summarize everything that we've bought. Now, the prices will differ based on where you are, but the total price should be the same for most people. In my country, for example, everything is a lot more expensive, so if you're planning to build a PC like this, the chances are that it'll be way cheaper for you. But either way, now that we're done building the computer, let's head over to the benchmarks and see what this PC can do.
Now those were pretty impressive results. Considering that the parts we used in this PC came out 8 to 10 years ago, I think they handled these games pretty damn well. This is why I love this build so much. You can pretty much enjoy any game at 1080p resolution on a $300 PC. Although do keep in mind that even though this PC provides a really good value today, it has a really low upgradability for the future. So if this is something that you're okay with and you only have $300 in your pocket, I think a computer like this will more than satisfy your needs. But tell me what you think. Would you game on a PC like this or would you build something totally different? On that note, let's wrap up this video. Thank you so much for watching and as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.